can you comment how you think Brexit might hit the financial services industry? Well, overall, I think it's going to be absolutely fine. Um, there is, uh, of course, it was exactly the same debates about the euro. I told you, I've lived through it before. Governors of the Bank of England I've debated with in the Mansion House uh, on this very issue. Um, uh, you know, obviously, there's going to be competition, and the Continentals are at the moment trying to steal uh, business. It's inevitable. And there is a leading competitor across the water over there, shimmering. Frankfurt, I mean, shimmering mm. like Croydon. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the, frankly, you know, Thank London you. is a completely different league from these places. And I think actually the fact that the Continentals can't decide, unsurprisingly, which is going to be the alternative centre is going to help us. I'd be more worried if all the business that we've already lost and are going to lose was going to one place, but it's not. Some is going to Paris, some to Amsterdam, some to Frankfurt, some to Milan, some to Luxembourg, some to Dublin. This is going to help us. The advantages of London are absolutely massive. Loss of passporting, I think it's, a, uh, it's an issue for some parts of the city's business. On the whole, not much uh, importance for fund management or insurance. Um, I think we're going to gain some things from being outside the EU with regard to regulation. There are some aspects of being in the EU which have been a pain in the neck and worse. The bonus cap, for instance, utterly stupid. Only the EU can invent that. I'm all for the proposition that people in the city, by and large, get paid too much. Hello. Um, <laughs> and I've I held wish. that view more strongly <laughs> since I left the city. Um, <laughs> but, um, you know, the balance between salary and bonus, of course, what the EU did was well, we put a cap on bonuses. You, we all know, you're all the recipients of this stuff, no doubt. The result was the city jacked up basic salaries enormously to make up the difference. And that's not healthy. Historically, the city's always thrived on having their ability, the flexibility, the power to adapt. So I think we'll have. Um, some loss of business, where we have had some, some activities, I think it'll be minor. I think we will gain some strengths, uh, and particularly as the EU starts to regulate financial services even more. And of course, if you get any whiff of a transactions tax uh, on the continent, then all these characters who've moved business over there will come rushing back. Also, the city will, will be dependent partly upon the more general decisions that British governments take with regard to regulation, taxation, both corporate and individual tax, and how well the UK does, how well the UK's infrastructure does. And overall, the picture be, should be to look at the world. I mean, the major competitors for uh, our financial services business are not Frankfurt or Paris. They're Dubai, New York, Singapore, Shanghai. Increasingly, they're outside the European time zone altogether. We've got to make sure we remain competitive against them.